MetaGrid for iOS is a perfect companion for your Cubase rig, allowing you to create custom workspaces suited for your needs. Let's have a look at how MetaGrid is used by our friend Luigi Hilardo, a composer and mixer at the Panic Room Studios. Luigi's Cubase setup is based on Vienna Ensemble Pro multi-computer network solution that includes a master computer and seven slate machines. His production template includes over 600 tracks and as you can imagine, navigating through this monster project can be a real challenge. Luigi's Metagrid workspace includes a dedicated view from where he can display any folder track and its content with just one touch of a button. The good news is that now you can use this solution in your projects. First, you need to import the provided macro files to your Cubase folder. Then create a generic remote device and import the provided Metasystem macro XML file. Then in Cubase, go to Edit, Project Logical Editor, and navigate to Metagrid folder. You'll find the 116 scene macros. Select the scene, let's say scene number one, and under Folder Track, just enter the name of the existing folder in your Cubase project that you want to display. Save a macro. Now in Metagrid, create a button, name it accordingly, choose an icon, and color and assign action queue. First, add app specific command, going to Metagrid, Scenes, and selecting Hide All Macro. Then add a pause command. Choose Scene 1 that corresponds to your Cubase macro that you've just modified. Then add pause command again. And as a last command, choose Unfold All Visible. Now press the button. For Luigi Hilardo, Metagrid is an indispensable tool that saves him lots of time and streamlines his creative process with Cubase. With Wi-Fi USB connectivity for Mac and Windows, comprehensive command set for Cubase 9, dedicated icons for Cubase, keyboard shortcuts and MIDI support, Metagrid is a creative companion for everything you do in Cubase.